Dr. Prendergast, one more time, talking about blood pressure and pulse wave measurement. Anybody who's been here and had one of these know what this is about. Yes, it picks up the blood pressure, but also the pulse wave measurement. That defines, as I'll talk about in a second, it defines how old your arteries are. And I'll give you another uh, series of insights to look at that. For example, uh, the insight is as we get older, as you know, your body doesn't really change quite so easy. Now there are things get stiff and so forth. And so too do the arteries. You can see this in this uh, diagram that's here. When you're young, there's a nice way to descend the arteries. When you get old in the bottom part, it's not so easy. Things are sort of set in their ways, for example, and they just won't get better. We don't stop there. We are one of the things we're measuring, but it's really important to, to realize that we are measuring pulse wave and that is dating back to in the 1600s when um, uh, they figured out that that pulse wave defined your age better than anything else. We handed out a lot of other pieces of paper that show about this in the Wall Street Journal and things such as that. But it's really interesting to, to see these things because there's another way to look at it. You see in the upper part here, the waveform analysis in the arm changes quite a bit based on the lower part where things are stiffer and thicker and not really good in the lower part and pretty pretty good in the upper part. So these are things that, that change and we can measure and change back to normal. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, things that we used to use like the arginine, and uh, we would then talk about a little bit about Neo40 and how this is what it's all about today because as you get older, lo and behold, things are a lot stiffer and they've got to be treated different th than before, but we'll talk about that. So here we have uh, other things in terms of uh, how to look at this. These define how it's measured. Now this is a oscilloscope not an ultrasound or any other thing like this, but the oscilloscope defines the way we're measuring these kind of things. The North American Artery uh, Society uh, has a, a different way of looking at it than anything else. And by virtue of this, you can figure out just how old your arteries are. So these are, are again, very, very important things. So as we finish this, the last thing I talk about is this one graph up here. The one graph that shows yeah, as time goes on, the stiffness goes up, and that speaks for itself. And that's how, when we can make these things become normal, getting rid of plaque inside the artery, all the things you've heard that really makes your life really bad and not able to get to 126, as I often say to many people, because they have gotten more elastic arteries. They have been in a situation where they've gotten rid of plaque. They've gotten rid of all the things that, that do dirt to you. So it's really an important thing because when you get all these things in line, it is your time and you're going to benefit largely from it. That's good.